Greetings Crusaders! My name is Fury and welcome back once again to some more Lost Planet 3! As you can see, we are still stuck on top of this godforsaken mountain that we left off yesterday. Oh, Jim's looking a little chilly. Look at him. Look at this man. Look at this man. He's got a little, little frostbite in the lips there. <laughs> welcome, welcome to uh, Edian 3. Your beautiful icy planet where everything is trying to kill you, including the ice. Enjoy your stay and uh, have a nice dip in the local hot tub when you get back to base. I'm sorry, I had to. But anyways, yeah. So we're back here, still trying to get these comm relays, I guess, back online. Or the tram... Tram locks, if I'm correct? Because something or someone shut them down. The question is who? Or what? I mean, it could have been the storm, it could have been some acrid messing with everything, but... Hey, you never know, right? Nonetheless, I'm keeping my eyes open for anything we... ...see off in the distance. Hello? What have we here? Ow. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, we can't go that way because of the, uh... uh... Supposedly we need some sort of magnetic grappling hook, so I'll have to work on getting that later. Nonetheless, keep your eyes open. Acrid all about... Oh, there's the next generator. Great. Glorious. Yay. Is this thing on? Oh, I can actually grapple up there, what do you know? Nothing in the snow. Anything over here? Other than my pain and suffering from probably getting ambushed by another acrid that we had fun with last week. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this grappling hook really has nothing compared to the Lost Planet 2 grappling hook. It really doesn't. It's still f kind of fun, but I hate the factor that you have to look for certain targets before it actually works. Oh, yay! Look at that, a weapon box. Thanks. Reload. Okay. Uh, well, I don't really have any new guns, now do I? At least I've been collecting thermal energy. So that's good. Shotgun ready. Assault rifle ready. Alright. Let's kick it into high gear, shall we? We got two more relays to finish, and then hopefully we could go talk to the dock. I don't even know where she is. She's supposedly down that way. Oh, don't, don't. Please don't. Oh, thank God. Stationed online. One more to go. Last station. Get somewhere. You don't say. Oh, uh, all right. Whoever built this place, man? You're ballsy as fuck, especially for a colony out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Welcome to EDN3. System malfunction. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. System malfunction? Well, I guess we're opening the door the old fashioned way. Rebooting system. Hmm. Come on. Come on. System online and ready. Whew, there we go. What the? Some... Wow. 32,362 feet. Eat this is horrifying. Man, one drop and you're gone. Welcome to EDN3. Sorry, I gotta stop saying that. Well, there's the... Hey! Hey! You over there, what are you doing? Hmm? What do you think you're doing? Where are you going? Okay, well, she's gone. What the hell? Yes, Jim. Exactly what I need to say. Who the hell and what the hell were you doing out here tampering with our relay system? Also, I probably should not be up here that long. If worse comes to worse, I'm gonna get knocked off my... ...station. I don't like that, whatever that is. God, though, can I admit, that is a hell of a view. 
Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Can I stay here forever? <laughs> That's some pretty ice down there. <laughs> can I go ice fishing? Maybe? Or can I go play in the ice? No? Okay. So this is the real ice station. Alright. Okay. Just kind of looking around to see if there's anything sitting in the snow. Uh, guess not. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. That's a component. I'll come back for that. God, every time I hear that, man. Oh, cool. You can actually kind of see the moons in the back, too. Sweet. All right. I learn something new every day. Alright, let's get her back online. There we are. Cronus Actual, this is Peyton. I'm getting the relay patched up, but... Listen, I don't know how else to say this, but... I think we might have a saboteur on the base. Saboteur? What makes you say that? I caught a glimpse of an unidentified person as I arrived. Ran off a cliff before I could get a good look, but... I think they were tampering with a relay tower. <laughs> Jim, no offense. You're not supposed to go stir crazy until you've been here at least a year. <laughs> I'm serious, boss. Somebody was out here. All right, Jim, I believe you. First things first. Head into the relay station, raise the satellite dish, and call up the tram. You'll need your rig for the next one. Hi! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I did not sign up for giant crabs. Nope, screw you. Good day. Go, 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 Blast its arm off. Come on, big boy. Come on, you want some? Come get me. Yeah, let's go. Eat it. There we go. It can eat my grenades. Come on. Woo. Eat it. Eat it, big boy. Eat it. Yeah. Munch on this. This is like Sheila, but ten times worse. <laughs> nice! Good dodge, Jim. Good dodge. Good dodge. I don't have any grenades! I don't have any grenades! Ow! I want that thermal energy. You will not take this from me! You will not take off of me! <laughs> Come on, ugly. Oh, that's not good. Come on. Come on. Take it out, Jim. Yeah. Whew. Ha. You feel it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> oh, God. Who would have thought the epitome of my day would be fighting an ice crab? That's a new one. That's a new one for the record books. Don't mind if I do. Salt gun ammo, shotgun ammo, rifle ammo, I'll take it all. <laughs> well, this looks like a cozy little relay station. I wonder why nobody's up here. Dude, seriously, why is there nobody up here? You would think they'd have some sort of crew up here maintaining this thing. Unless the crew got munched on by that thing. You know what? Maybe it's better I don't ask. Probably shouldn't go back to Braddock and ask him what happened to the uh, relay crew. 
Hey, where's the relay crew? Oh yeah, they got munched on. Okay, as brutal as it is, it's also a place of devastating beauty. I look out over the nearly completed dish and wonder if I will ever accomplish anything as magnificent as this again. The Coronis is scheduled to land in two weeks. Little will they know at what cost. Ah, oh, shit, so they did lose a lot of people. Alright. Sounds about right for construction week, isn't it? Uh, being out here, runaway news. Oh yeah, I already read that one. I'm trying to find the one I missed. I missed one last time. Uh, no, not that one. I won't tell nobody this. They think I've got the fever, but sure as I saw some... Nope, already read that one. Maybe it was the one down at the very bottom? Mm, no. I know it was one of these. Uh... I already read that one. Discovered a perilous stretch of cliffside where sudden blasts of wind snatched men out the... Oh no, we already did that one. Well, it's not. It has an undiagnosed heart condition. The thin air compounded the problem and it became increasingly clear something was wrong. It took almost two days to carry him down the mountain. The storms were unrelenting. Oh, he died quietly on March 3rd at base camp. His wife is yet to be informed. So that's the one it was giving me. Alright. So that's... That's horrible. Man, that is horrible. Man, I guess if you sign up for this kind of work, it's gotta be something, right? System malfunction. I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> Literally, Jim Payton is the space engineer of this ice planet. That's all you gotta say to him. Click. Power restored. There we go. What the? Unlocking suspension lines and raising condish. Holy cow! Well, that's not spooky at all. Condish locked and ready for transmission. Okay. Hey, y'all, uh, take it. Alright. Is there anything in here? That door's locked. I want to know if there's something in there. Okay, should at least be able to get the rig now, which is good. I think we... system. There she is! There's our beauty! What did he call it? Greta? Gertie? I think it was Gertie. Cronus Actual, you copy? I've got the satellite dish working. I'm just waiting for the rig to come up. It's your first time up this high, isn't it? <laughs> Ten months before the Coronas expedition landed, an engineering crew was sent ahead of us to set up that tram system and the comm dish. It was a major endeavor, and as you can see, a marvel of structural engineering. The oxygen gets pretty thin up there, and winds can blow up to 180 miles an hour, so I see that. the challenges must have been extraordinary. Considering that entire team, or at least most of that team, sounds like they ended up dying up here. Rest in peace to the engineering team that built this. Attention. Heavy cargo tram is docked and ready. Man. And nobody would get to know either. That kind of terrifies me about space. I feel like if you're just lost out there, or even on like a desolate planet like this, nobody will ever know. You die out here, it's just... Nobody remembers you. Probably. Okay, now that you've got the rig, Use the claw arm to align the relay tower and re-establish contact between the comm dish and Coronas. Ah, uh, you've got to be kidding me! Really? Do you mind? Get off me! Come here! Give me that arm! Yeah, that's right. Give me it. Good acred. Good acred. God. Come on. Do it. Ah, crap. I forgot it has to be like perfect timing. Get off me. Come here and give me that arm. Good acred. Good crabby acred. 
Who's the crabby boy? You are! Oh, lost an arm, have you? Well, too bad. This is a fight for survival, and I'm gonna survive. <laughs> Come on and get me. Come on, big boy. Come here, give me that arm. Yeah, I want that arm. Give me the arm. Ah, damn. Curse you. Curse ye. Come on. That's not good. I'm gonna get knocked out. Give me that. Good boy. Let's go! Chop chop! Or should I say drill drill? <laughs> drill drill drill! Gotcha! Hold still! I need this! <laughs> Man, that's a lot of thermal energy I'm wasting out there, man. Come here. That'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah. <sighs> Look, it's nothing against the acred, I swear, but when it comes to a fight for survival, <laughs> I'm going to be the one that wants to survive out here. <laughs> Kudos to the acrid, though. Let's just bear that in mind. Yes, this is their planet. Yes, these creatures belong here. But if it comes down to me or those creatures, I'm going to be the one that wants to come out on top, not be murked in the middle of the ice and snow. Although you have to admit, though, the creature design for this game is fantastic and phenomenal. I still love it. Say what you will about this game, that's one part that shines. Roman's personnel are present and accounted for, except you and Dr. Roman. She hasn't checked in for some time. All right. And if there's any funny business afoot out there, I'd like to make sure she's all right. Do me a favor and check in on her before you head back. Okay. I'll go check on her. Hey, now. All right, we're done up here. Ooh, and we got some hefty thermal energy credits. Heck yeah. Okay, when I get back to base, I really need to put that thermal energy uh, dispenser on the rig. Because we're going to need it. Because if I can collect thermal energy inside this thing without having to step foot outside, that'd be perfect. And I might want to upgrade the armor on this big guy. Extra armor would be a, a wise suggestion. Just a little bit. Armor plating. You're a little defenseless against those things when they come back. Ah, yes. Rule number one of uh, an ice world. Don't eat the snow. Never eat the snow. Why am I on top of my rig instead of down below? Attention. Heavy cargo tram is docked and ready. Fair. Where you at, big girl? Where am I? Can I get down from here? This way. All right, let's get back to the rig. That is a lot of thermal energy credits. Holy cow. I approve. <laughs> so do I have any side missions to do while I'm out here? Other than get the Sapaya samples and return to Dr. Kovic with them. All right, let's go check on Dr. Roman. Oh. I didn't notice that there. Good thing I saw it. These components are going to come in very, very handy. Is there something over here as well? No? Okay. Alright, let's go find the doc. I'm certain she's very happy to see us when we get there. Right? What's this? Is that another component? What is that? It is a component. 
I really need to keep an eye out on these things, don't I? Anything up here? Ah, text log. Nice. What is this one? Okay, poorly planned, poorly conceived, undermanned, too high too tight a schedule, and on top of it all, this damn planet is out to stop us every step of the way. This satellite dish is going to kill me. Why does Nevik want to start a colony here of all places? The first thing we installed was a lightning rod. The storms are frequent and intense. That sounds like a person that just does not like their job. <laughs> you know what? Fair. I'll, I'll let them have that one. This job would be rough. Probably. A little too rough. And this is why they give them rigs. I hope. Dr. Roman, I was told to come see you. If you're out here. I'm hoping you're out here. Dr. Roman? Doc, you out here? You want to say hello to our little old rig? Or to Jim? Or anybody? But that's her base? Oh. That looks quaint. I like it. Looks kind of cute. Oh. Dr. Roman? Drop your weapon! Dang! Whoa, whoa. Easy now, Doc. <clears throat> Who are you? Where'd you come from? I'm Jim Payton. Just here to check Where up... Where from? Braddock. Oh, Coronas. What the hell, lady? Where else would I be from? Braddock sent me. <laughs> I know you. That's right. I came down with that creepy fella you don't like, with the big head. Just hitching a ride, I swear. I barely know the guy. <laughs> Maybe done aiming things at me now? Nice, Jim. Nice. Braddock sent you. <laughs> Wanna make sure you're okay. See if you needed any help. Touch and concern after all these months. How many months have you been out here? To what do I owe such an excess of caution? Might ask the same, Shotgun Sally. You've seen it then, haven't you? It? Someone in the distance. Watching. Uh, hard to know what I saw. They say folks start to crack up. Out here in the white too long? I can see it. Perhaps. Do you feel cracked? Can't say as I do. <laughs> then there's something the old man's not telling us. You realize that? I'm trying not to. I know how it is. You didn't come here to ask questions. But believe me, James. This place has secrets. Keep your eyes open. Or they'll sneak up on you when you least expect it. Whatever you say, Doc. It's all good and ominous, Doc. I'm just here to do a job. Huh, that's convenient. I've got one for you. Oh, nuts. Well, that was quick. If you're really here to help, there is one thing you can do. DNA tagger for your pistol. Ooh. Collects, analyzes, and stores genetic patterns for my research. Want to help? There's an acrid nest just round the bend. Tag the egg clusters for me. Sounds easy enough. Take this. It's a motorized zipline <gasps> attachment for yes! the hook. The zipline! get where the eggs are. A motorized zipline. Don't mind if I do. Thanks, Doc. Thank you. <laughs> Me being happy about a motorized zipline. Wow, this sounds like a great time, doesn't it? Whee! Hey, look, chat. Oh, chat. What am I streaming? <laughs> oh, hey, look, Ma. I'm playing Apex Legends. Oh, man. Oh, that's funny. Oh, well. So, go to the acrid hive, tag the acrid, give her the DNA samples, get out. Sounds easy enough, if these little buggers weren't here to mess with me. 
I swear, man. These things will be the death of me. Okay. So we have to go in there. Hey, I see you. Leave me alone. You're an acrid troublemaker. Don't crawl on my rig. Oh, where'd they go? Just roll. Just roll. When all else fails, Dark Souls roll. <laughs> How do I... How does one attach the thing? That's the real question. Anyways. Next question. How do I get up there? Oh, over here. Cuckoo. Alright, you acrid. You overgrown egg sacs. I'm coming to get you. You overgrown spider critters. Tag acrid. Uh. Ah. Leave me alone. Bad. Bad, bad, bad apron. Bad. There we go. Honestly, I don't know why I use the pistol that much often. This thing is kind of nice. Oh, God, I hate these things. I guess any of these eggs will do. S oh, switch to the tagger. Okay. Oh! I should do it. There we go. Cool. I'm going to get blown up in here. There's something in here, isn't there? I swear there is. Ow! Ow! I hate this place. Alright, Doc, I tagged your eggs. Are you happy? Are you proud of me, Doc? Yeah, I guess I can destroy these things now. Wait, actually... No. Let's just leave. There's nothing worth finding in here. Uh -uh. No data logs, nothing. Hmm. Alright. I see you over there. Don't think I don't. Wait, can I tag you? Oh, uh, no. Come back. Hold still. I want to tag you. Stop moving. Nope. Ah, God damn it. I want to study you. Hold still. <laughs> uh, don't do it. Don't do it. I know what you're up to. Just hold still for me. That's a good little acrid. Uh, I got what I got. Now I can go back to the dock. Okay. Man, Jim Payton, you really are an engineer for everybody, aren't you? My goodness. Okay, so we'll go back to the dock, talk to her, and I guess we head back to base? Question mark? I mean, I might as well head back to base after this, because I don't want to get caught out in a storm. Not like last time, anyways. Hey, Doc. I got you a present. I hope you like DNA samples. <laughs> there you go. Good work, James. Sadly, I don't have the credits to pay you what you're worth. But you can keep the zipline attachment. Thank I'm you. sure you'll find good use for it. Best of luck out there. Braddock, it's Jim. Dr. Roman's 5x5. Five five. I don't think you have to worry about her one bit. Glad to hear it. Appreciate you going out of your way. Of course. Anything else while I'm out here? Besides the usual standing contracts? Actually, we did just survey a fairly massive T energy deposit nearby. Uh -oh. But it's inaccessible with your current equipment loadout. When you're back, you should talk to Gale about upgrading your rig with some kind of winch system. Alright. Cool. Roger that. Peyton out. Wait, winch. did I hear my name? Listen, Jim, remember how I asked you to find that servo controller off the Rocha scrapped winch arm a while ago and you sort of blew me off? <laughs> See, the thing is, I'm going to need that component if you want the upgrade Braddock's talking about. So if you find it, I'll be happy to hook you up. 
I ain't bitter or hurt or resentful or nothing. I'm healthy like that. Thank you, Gail. I appreciate that. Okay, we gotta go find the winch. Yay. <laughs> okay, use DNA tagger on Acrid. Switch to my pistol's special ammo. To so, how many Acrid are there to tag? Does it actually say? Weapon upgrades, rig upgrades, text law. Ah, bestiary. 17 different Acrid. Oh boy. All right. Embryonic storage sack with proximity based exploding defense mechanism. Trigger and quickly clear blast zone. The other one is that bad boy. The boy of Sapai? Subspecies of Sapaya with ranged mortar attacks. Seek cover to avoid attacks or shoot incoming projectiles. Oh, I did not know you could actually shoot the projectiles out of the air. I will take that. Thank you. But you know what I want while I'm walking back to base? I want some tunes. And I can't play them. God damn it. Well, screw you too, game. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We'll see what we can find on the way back, I guess. So we have to get the winch system from LaRoche's rig. Got it. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. I actually love the inside of the rig. This looks kind of cozy. I'd live in here. I I'd live in this thing. It'd be kind of fun. That, other than other stuff happening. Sorry, little buddy. Had to happen. I mean, I can study what acrid I can find for her. No promises, though. There's a lot of acrid out this way. Alright, entering Bishop's Peak. Moving in. Keep an eye out for ammo foot lockers, of course. Yep. That's always a win. I wonder if we ever find out what happens to Diaz. Because she went missing. Hence, Jim is the replacement for her. So. Oh, no. This is never good. Okay, where are we at here? So we're out this way. We need to go back over there. Got it. Sounds like a dealio to me. I just really wish... I can play my tunes. Oh! Speak of the what? Devil! Yay! Of course! I only need one of them. That's all I need. I need one. God damn it. I hate these things. Come here. I'm gonna get knocked out of my rig. Ha 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 ha! That one missed! Ha 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 ha! That's funny. Ow! Fuck you! Okay, you know what? I'm tired of this shit! I only need one of you alive! So come on and get me! And there goes the rig. God damn it! I hate these things with a burning passion. Ah, Christ. Eat it! Ow! Ouchie! I can't see. This might be my death. Stop hitting the rig! Ooh, ooh, not good. Not good. Uh, not good. Ah, run! Oh, ho, 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 my God, my health. <laughs> I swear to God. The next one of you that hits my ring is going to regret it. Let 
Let me in. <laughs> Dear God. Come here. I'm sick of your shit. <laughs> I will end you. <laughs> and this is why they give you a rig. Happy days. You know what? I am so done with you. Come back here. Got you! One left. I do not care if I get chucked out of my rig. Come on, big boy! Come and get me! I gotta switch the other gun. I need a scan. I really hate these things but stop moving! Come on. Come on, do it. Come on! Back here! Would you stop that? I hate these things. I really do. There we go. Perfect. Now hold still. <laughs> uh oh. Ah. I just need to scan one of you. Please. That's all I ask. Hey, <laughs> gotcha. Okay, I'm done. <sighs> Feels good. <laughs> ah, I feel a lot happier. <laughs> Let's see. Did we get the scan off that? I hope so. Okay, utility rig, bestiary... And perfect. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Um, the Donga. Thickly armored, acred, high speed roll attacks. Avoid with well timed roll dodges and target glowing tail. Thank you. All right. Nothing better than avoiding a big roly poly boy. The roly poly be out there and they're after me, you know? <laughs> All right, let's get her back home. Supply drop. We were waiting for. Supply drop. It hit a crag off Shackleton's Peak and disappeared over the other side. Morose is looking for a way over, but I think it's lost. Hmm. Luckily, it was backup medical supplies and not one of our scheduled glass they dropped. Let's just hope we don't have an outbreak of anything soon. Mm. Return home. Out. Oh. these things. These things are never ending. There. Really need to upgrade the rig so it can pick up thermal energy off the ground. When I get back to the, the uh, station, I'll see about it. So what about that supply drop? Upgrade time, DNA, get supply samples. Uh, I'll have to look into that supply drop later then. Supposedly went over the peak. Psych evaluation. <laughs> Hey, nothing like chilling inside your rig while drinking a hot cup of joe, you know? Watching the storms go by. <laughs> oh boy. Acred. <laughs> End eval. What a great evaluation. Oh, come, you little buggers, come here, I swear. 
Ah, nuts. That's what I wanted. Come here. Go night night. And you also go night night. Man, Acred never learn, do they? Look at all of this free thermal energy, though. My goodness, I'm gonna be rich. I'm a rich man. Oh god, I'm gonna be. <laughs> ah, yes, Jim Payton, the rich man. I don't think that has a ring to it, to be honest. I want that ma magnetic grappling hook, though, if I can get it. That'd be great. Let's see. Hello, boyos. What were you guys hiding over here? I know one of these things fell off the ridge. Can I get up there? I can. Hello. What were you hiding up here? Nice. Some good old tea energy. A component? Naughty log. Hello. What have we here? Should have had my head examined getting into bed with Nevik. Diaz. I told myself the money was too good to pass up. The opportunity too unique. That the devil I know is better than living on the street. But if they're willing to leave their own people to die and cover up that a mission even happened, what's the limit? Whoa. How do I know Hello. What the hell did Diaz find? Alright. Leave people behind, huh? Alright. Got my attention. Alright. Nothing out here. Let's go back to the rig. We'll get back to it. Get back on board and get over there. If I can at least find that component, I'd love to do that, but I don't know if we'll be able to do that. At least not right now. We'll see. But poor Diaz. Something bad happened to her. I know it. Although with a planet like this, I would not be surprised. Wait, what? Oh. Oh no. They want me to get the supply drop, do they? That's, I'm assuming, is the supply drop. Great time. Can't get past Marshall's Gorge and Gale upgrade my rig. Survey TDG. Oh yeah, that's right. He wanted me to go this way. And there's more of these little cretins. I need the other Sapayas, not these ones. Where are the other ones? Oh, they're above me. Ah, here they are. Ow! Yeah, I need these little Cretans. I need one of them. You'll do. Ow! Stop that. Do you mind? I am trying to scan you. No, bad. I said bad. Good acred. <laughs> okay. I'm done with you. Ugh, so rude. They don't sit still. Got one. What is this? Oh, that's the piece I was looking for. Okay. Gail, I think I found that doodad you're after. Sweetness. Just drop it by next time you're in the hangar. Pretty sure you know where to find me, and, uh, you know, let's just keep this between us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Gail. Alright. Okay, so we got the Sapaya, so that's good. I guess the next time maybe I head up that gorge way, I'll check out those, uh, those flyers. Those flying bugs were annoying, but they could be useful. We need to find one of those dogs as well. 
I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're a pretty cool species. So let's head back to the hangar, or hopefully back to the Coronas, and uh, see what we can scrounge up, shall we? We now got the grappling arm, so I'll take it. And I guess we can go talk to the Doc as well. He's going to want to know about whatever we found out there. Oh boy, can't wait to have a conversation with him. Yay. <laughs> How the hell did they manage to get the Corona set up like that, though? That's my question. That is just so weird. Oh well. Stomp, stomp. <laughs> Didn't he mention something about something going over the edge? Was it here? Or... Uh -huh. Eh. Maybe it was somewhere else. Because if we go back down that way, that's towards that little uh... cliff edge detective. You don't say! <laughs> Alright, let's just go back in. I'll worry about it later. Ah, home sweet home. Gotta wonder how often they have to de-ice this place, man. <laughs> like, this place must get really cold. Nice. Neo Neo Venus Construction. Number one in energy. Number one in medicine. Number one in communications. In philanthropy, the most generous corporation in the history of the Earth. I don't believe that for a, a second. A beacon of hope in dark times. Nebek spans the galaxy in search of new energy sources. Earth's greatest champion. Mankind's best chance to endure and prevail. Nebek, for your future. No thanks, I'm good. Prefer to not let my soul be bound to a corporation. <laughs> I'm good, Chief. Ah, uh, welcome home. Welcome home, Jim. Oh, hello. I didn't see this down here. What do we got here? Uh, Martin, I'm sorry to be blunt, but I can't stomach another moment of you pinning to be... Oh, pining to be back home on Earth. I'm right here, and trust me, count your damn blessings. Uh, do you realize half the government in the uh, Western Hemisphere are bankrupt? Whole continents are threatening to crash back to the Dark Ages. Global suicide rates are at an all-time high. I'd say wish you were here, but I don't hate you that much. Write me. Wait, hold on. What? Shit, I did not mean to do that. I hate doing that. Every time I do this, it was a long one. That's all I know. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's scroll. Uh, right back anytime you need another pep talk. Sorry, Sheila. There you go. Alright, cool. So, what I'm hearing is, don't go back to Earth. Earth is pretty much screwed. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. Good to know. The barometric damper in East Block is still malfunctioning, and we're not getting any young... <laughs> they still haven't fixed that? It's kind of funny. There's that heat pump they were supposed to be fixing. They haven't done that yet. Oh my lord. Alright, well. I don't think we're going to find anything special here in the base, so I can probably just go straight to the... Uh... Oh, hello. Never mind. We could take some torque drivers and plant some helical piers at B26 and K22 instead. That should ease off some of the lateral load. I'm worried about the pressure. Well, we could take the gauges off A5 and 6, since those are more or less stabilized. But I'm telling you, they're load-bearing. Hmm. There's some plates on there, anchor them down with cable lock, and we're golden. At least for another few days. That might work. Might work, sure. Might kill us. If there's a void collapse within 20 meters, the show's over. But what else are we gonna do? What about reinforcing B-28 instead? Put in some drill shafts to sustain some of the lateral load. It, it's within okay. their tolerance at this height. 
Well, alright, they're planning to stabilize the entire station, I take it? I'll let them work on that. We gotta go see Kovich. Where be the barracks? Oh, the other dude's gone. He's no longer there. Sad. I wonder what everybody's up to over here. Well, that crazy dude's not in the, uh, <laughs> the hot tub, so hey, I'll take it. Okay. Alright, I guess I'll just go down to Dr. Kovic and talk to him then. So I guess I'll see everyone there. Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome back to the base. Where's Dr. Kovic? There he is. Alright, I got your samples. You better be happy with these, man. Hmm? Ah, yes, my samples! I have an appropriate reward. Something to aid in your blood sport. Oh my god. Custom made specialty ammunition. Ooh. It's a hobby of mine. All right. I forward the recipe to the quartermaster so a constant supply is purchasable from him. Ooh. Just load your firearm with these and it probably won't take you so long to kill your quarter next time. Rude. Got anything else for me, Doc? Well, those samples you brought me were worthless. The supply of tea energy is not pure enough. So, let's keep looking. I'm sure the tea energy from a different breed of acrid will yield more promising results. Great. Dongos. Perfect. You want me to hunt the Roly Boys. Glorious. Alright, let's go to Gale. <laughs> let's go talk to Gale about that winch, please. Oh, I cannot stand Kovach that much, man. He's a weird one. Onwards to Gale. This entire time, I never noticed there was an audio log down here. Look at that. The president and his opposition allies pulled out of a national unity government today due to fears that the militant Crimson, Crimson Unity, unity. Would claim remaining energy reserves. Now that's Crimson a name I haven't unity heard in a while. Was instrumental in the government's collapse when its well-equipped militiamen overran much of the country in September, hmm. forcing the president to cede to a severely crippled national unity government. With the energy crisis firmly rooted and little hope of resolution, observers fear that this latest development will cause a domino effect across the region, plunging the entire continent into turmoil. For IBR, this is Suzanne Lee. Hmm. Crimson Unity's up to their old shenanigans. Good to know. Hey, Quartermaster, what do you got for me? You looking for something specific? Hit me. Hit me, good sir. I guess I should probably buy that hunting rifle now. I haven't bought it yet. Ammo pack wouldn't be bad, and... Fire is good. Yeah, I'll grab that hunting rifle. We need it. Thank you, T-Energy. You are such a help. Wait, that costs components? Oh, well, what do you know? Uh, sure, I'll buy the scope. See there? That's the stuff. Great for sniping targets. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna waste any more tea energy right now. I still have enough. See you later, Jim. Wait a minute, this is my hunting rifle. It's been in my family for generations. Oh? Well, I thought I'd lost in the supply crash on my first day. What? No, Jim. This was sold to me recently by LaRoche. Said it was La in his Roche, family for bastard. generations. Sorry, but if you're if you're wanting your money back, no worries, Bertie. I'm just glad to have her back. Of course LaRoche would sell his rifle. That sounds about right. Thanks, LaRoche. Love you too, buddy. Alright, Gail, get me the equipment and we'll be on our way out. Hey Gail. You up to help me put a new tool on the rig? Sure thing, boss. With that component you salvaged from LaRoche's <clears throat> winch arm, I can upgrade your rig to spec. It's kind of what I do. Just plug any salvage that you find out in the world into the kiosk there and select what you need. Oh, and if you're ever low on salvage but flush on cash, I'm sure old Birdie can swap that for you. They don't call him the Quartermaster for nothing. Thanks, Gail. Get it? Yeah, me either. Alright, so we're looking for the winch. Yay! We got a winch! Alright, let's get you upgraded. Now, since I'm here, I might as well buy a few more things since I have some extra components. 
Yeah, the TN the T energy absorber is a must. I need that. Now you can collect T energy without getting out of your rig. Thank you. Big time saver, right? Uh You know what? I think the hardened hull is good. I need that too. This was simple. We take some raw metal, we reinforce the hull. Hmm. Ooh, hardened hull, 50%. Nice. Let's do the forearm bash. Cool. I can literally do And the double minutes. smash, and I think that'll be it for now. There. All right. Let's get you upgraded. That gives the rig a little bit of something. It means any other components that come along the way, I can just upgrade them for other stuff later. So we're good. And no, that's right, that. sir. Upgraded your claw arm with a brand spanking new winch. Premium bi-steel synthetic cable, high-end abrasion guard, precision CNC machine roller fair lead. It's compatible with the zipline attachment on your grappling hook because you're my favorite. <laughs> and not just because LaRoche doesn't let me upgrade his rig. This, this is the stuff. Now get out of here before I regret giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Love you. Enjoy. Don't break it. Thank you, Gail. Oh, and because I'm the gift that keeps on giving, I cooked you up a tea energy detector. Ooh. It'll automatically recognize a the thermal pocket in the immediate vicinity and translate the seismic noise into audio. Just listen for the signal and use it to pinpoint and discover underground deposits. Like a hot and cold game. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. Appreciate it, buddy. Alright. We'll go back up top, and I think... Ladies and gentlemen, that is where we are going to call this. Yeah. Main deck, and then I think we'll call it. That should hopefully save the game, if I'm not wrong. Because I kind of hate that the elevator is the only way of saving in this game. Instead of, you know, an actual save button. <laughs> One thing I hate about certain games like that is that's the way to save, and I don't like it. But I'm griping, don't mind me. But with that, ladies and gentlemen... I am going to call this grand adventure through EDN3 finished for tonight. We will return once again to the planet that we definitely won't freeze our butts off on, but uh, hopefully get some more acrid kicking, shall we? It's been good. We at least discovered what the doc has been up to. She's going a little crazy, and at least she gave us a little tracker or a DNA t detector, so that's cool. And now we have a winch for the rig, so hey, I'll take it. But yeah. Other than that, you all have a good one, and thank you for joining me on this one, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one, everybody.